Hello and welcome back to Sorry Mom's YouTube channel. My name is Rasmus and today's video is about things to avoid when you have a new tattoo. We wanted to do this video because we do get a lot of comments and questions. We're going to talk about the mistakes that we want you to avoid in order for your tattoo to heal up nicely. These are the eight things you need to avoid when you have a new tattoo. First thing to avoid with your new tattoo is alcohol. Don't go on a drinking spree, don't go crazy and get drunk with your brand new tattoo. Alcohol has a thinning effect on your blood and it's gonna cause your tattoo to leak more and bleed more. And it's also gonna postpone the healing process so the skin will regenerate slowly. And basically no alcohol for the first, I would say three to four days. When you drink alcohol, you are kind of, it seems so weird that you're hydrating yourself with alcohol and then it's dehydrating your body. A dehydrated body and dry skin is not good for your tattoo. Also crazy things happen when you're drunk. You can bump into people, you can get into all kind of mess that you don't want to expose your new tattoo towards. Second one, working out and doing sports. It's not that you can't go be physical active with your new tattoo. We just don't recommend you to do something that is causing you to sweat a lot and that can stress out your skin and eventually end up ruining your tattoo. I have bad experience myself in terms of, I don't work out as you might guess, but I do sports. I have my uh, light bulb on my arm. I actually speak a lot about this light bulb and it says think Tinge. And it's one of those tattoos where I forgot to think. Because I got this one and I went out to play football on uh, artificial indoor grass. And uh, for some reason I end up uh, stumbling on my feet and falling on the surface, uh, this artificial grass surface. Somehow I end up landing with my new tattoo on the artificial grass. And it's kind of ripping the skin up after it was just ripped up by the artist. So. It ended up being a very long and painful healing process and also the the outlines on my tattoo ended up being cracked and broken eventually ended up getting a retouch on it so don't do crazy sports and don't expose yourself to too much hard working out with a new tattoo you can work out after a few couple of days once the first healing process has started third one always a sinner the sun don't expose your new tattoo towards the sun the sun is burning your skin and you don't want to stress and burn and destroy the skin that is currently rebuilding on your new tattoo. Actually, it's never really good to expose your tattoos to the sun as the sun works as a very slow laser treatment removal, basically. It burns your skin. Yeah, you don't want to do that to your new tattoo. Number four, don't scratch in your new tattoo. You don't want to do that because if you scratch your tattoo, it might feel itchy and you want to scratch it, but don't do it. If you scratch your tattoo, you will open the wound again, you will break the skin, and you also have chances of uh, contaminating it with uh, bacteria or whatever you have on your under your nails. If you scratch in your tattoo, you can also end up um, tearing off the scalp. And if you do that, you open up the skin again, and you can end up actually going deeper, and suddenly you have a wound that is deeper than your tattoo were, and that can cause some of the uh, ink pigmentation to fall out. Number five, avoid soaking your tattoo. Tattoo. By soaking, I mean avoid swimming with your tattoo, avoid taking a hot bath in a bathtub, avoid doing something where you submerge your tattoo and force it underwater for a longer period because the water has an effect on your skin that isn't really uh, helping the, the regeneration process it is in and uh, you don't want to do that with your new tattoo. You want it to heal up as fast and quick and nice as possible. And obviously as I think everyone with tattoos knows you want to avoid salt water because of the salt and you want to avoid swimming in a pool because it has chlorine in it and uh, that's not really good for your tattoo at all. Number six, animals. Avoid animals. It sounds weird, but avoid getting in contact with a dog or with a cat or whatever animal you hang out with. Some, most of the time animals are dirty and you don't want to have your cat or dog lick your tattoo or high five with it with a dirty paw or whatever. 
you don't want to expose your tattoo to animals since they are never really super clean number seven avoid dirty sheets towels and of course dirty dirty clothing on your tattoo if you have a new tattoo an open wound and you end up sleeping uh, in dirty sheets and for some reason you end up getting bacteria from your dirty sheets or a dirty towel or whatever into your tattoo it can cause an infection in your tattoo and infected tattoos are some of the worst it's a long and painful and annoying process and it often ends out in a very bad healing result number eight over moisturizing your tattoo and by over moisturizing i mean you don't want to apply a thick layer of cream or balm on your tattoo we say in general that it's better to apply multiple times with a little amount then less times with a big amount of cream if you over moisturize your tattoo you end up closing the skin clogging the pores and your skin can't breathe that can actually have an adverse effect so you prolong and destroy the healing process so it's very important that whenever you apply a tattoo lotion or a tattoo balm to heal your tattoo that you apply a thin and small layer and then you're good to go as a little bonus here are some tips and tricks on things you can do that will help you through a hassle-free healing process with your new tattoo. In general, and the first best thing to do whenever you are to get a new tattoo is to make sure that you are in a good environment. I personally don't recommend vacations or crazy trips for tattoos, but if you're in home zone, comfort zone, where you have all the equipment you need for your tattoo, where you have no plans on going out drinking for the next few days, and you know that you can relax and stay at home and do the best for your tattoos, then I think you're in a good state. I know we say this a lot in pretty much all of our videos, but we do preach good aftercare and it is so crucial and it's so important for your new tattoo. I can't recommend a proper aftercare routine enough. That's also what we do at Sarmum, but it's really, really important. And I'm also happy to say that most artists out there, they will confirm it and say it as well. Because once you leave the shop or studio or leave your artist with a brand new tattoo, he or she has done what he or she can do. And now it's on to you. And since it is an open wound, it's just very important that you treat it like one and that you take care of it and help it through. So the piece of art you just paid for and that someone did on you and that you're gonna have for the rest of your life, that it ends up healing nicely. It's the last but maybe most important part of actually getting a tattoo. It's very important that you use the right products for your new tattoo, that you use the right soap, that you protect it, that you moisturize it with the right kind of products, and that if you are to go somewhere where it's sunny, that you don't expose it to sunlight. It's also very important that you take care of yourself. You need to look at it like your skin is a window or a frame for your tattoo, so the cleaner, the healthier, the more in good state, not over moisturized and not dry it is, the better your tattoo is gonna heal and the more healthy your tattoo is gonna be. That's it. Thank you for watching again. Feel free to bombard the comment section with questions, with comments, with anything you have related to tattoos and tattoo aftercare. If you have a good tip yourself, feel free to share it. We often learn a lot from you guys. Subscribe, ring the bell, go nuts, do your thing and see you next time. Bye.